Hello, boxing fans. It is officially Canelo versus Triple G fight week for a third time around. And I'm here to give you guys my prediction and my analysis on how I feel like this fight is going to play out this third time around. And I do have to admit that whenever I found out that Canelo picked the zone deal over the PBC deal, I was a little bit disappointed because I really wanted to see Canelo test himself with both Benavides and Charlo. But now that fight week is here with Triple G, I remember the great 24 rounds that they've given us so far, and I'm looking forward to 12 more rounds of just back and forth action, and I don't think they're going to let us down. Now, these fights and this rivalry period has had a lot of controversy behind it, specifically because the first fight was, uh, you know, decided to be a draw by the judges when, you know, my opinion, I had Triple G up. Though you can say that Canelo did get the first three and the last three, which but that's really pushing it, in my opinion. That's being really generous to the redhead. While the second fight, while Canelo won, and a lot of people still have Triple G winning that fight, I do feel like that fight was more of a draw than the first one. And also, I do see Canelo winning the second fight because he was the aggressor. He did fight Triple G in the Mexican style. Him and Abel Sanchez both said he wasn't going to do. And not just did he fight them in the Mexican style that they claim he wasn't going to do, but they had zero answers for it. First of all, let's go over what they've done since the last time them they met back in September of 2018. Since then, Canelo went to get a title at 175. He went to unify 168 and fought eight times. While Triple G has only only fought half of that, four times, right? Since Triple G, since the Triple G match, Canelo fought Rocky Fielding, Ooh. Jacobs, Ooh. Kovalev, Smith, Yildirim, Vila Joe Saunders, Ooh. Plant, Ooh. and most recently got his ass kicked by the homie Dimitri B. Bull. On the other hand, a lot of people feel like Triple G's op um, opposition has been a little lackluster and, you know, very far in between. He got, I think he won the distance with Steve Rose, Ooh. right? And then he got the IBF title back once uh, Canelo moved up to 168 from David Echenko, who a lot of people felt like David Echenko actually won that match and had Triple G hurt to the body. And I think that, I hate the word exposed, but I, that did expose uh, Triple G's vulnerability to the body, especially now at his later age, right? And then he fought Sir Mehmeta. Um, I think he knocked him out. And then most recently, Murata, who was a Japanese champion, who he unified the 160 title against. And some criticism Canelo's been getting a lot is, you know, he cherry-picked his way to number one. He went up with Triple G to get old. He's fighting Euro bums, and he doesn't want to fight undefeated black fighters, right? As for Triple G, we get that he's one-dimensional, he's too inactive, he has no body attack, and he's an HBO-manufactured hype job. And I have to say, while I feel like some of these things are valid to just have an opinion on, a lot of them could be disproven. Canelo being called a cherry picker, uh, to cherry pick his way to number one, it's like, well, why does anybody else do the same thing, right? You know, he waited for Triple G to get old. That one, I really I feel like we, we could have gotten this fight sooner, but what are you going to do, I guess? The fact that he's fighting Europe bombs, I feel like that's all came to where they just happened to have the belts, right? And the fact that he doesn't want to fight undefeated black fighters, that one until he fights Charlo or, you know, Boo Boo, I guess. People are going to keep saying that, right? Triple G being one-dimensional is something he gets a lot, but he was knocking motherfuckers out being one-dimensional, so, like, He's one-dimensional, but that dimension seems to be pretty fucking good for him. Like, it seems to be working out just fine, right? And then he has no body attack, which is that one for sure, right? And then that he's an HBO manufactured hype job. I wouldn't call it that. I feel like because his style was so amazing and he was getting all the knockouts, that's shit that you want to put on Prime TV, right? So let's move on to the strengths, right? Let's move on to the strengths from these guys. Canelo, I really... Like the way that he went from a guy who was criticized for being flat footed to then compensating by uh, just improving his waist and head movement. When you saw we saw it mostly with the Jacobs fight, right? His his head game was on point. And even in his last fight, we bowl, even though he was getting got a lot, it looked like he was mostly exhausted and he was he couldn't like really throw punches because he was so gassed. But at least he was moving his head and I appreciated that and i noticed that right i do feel like he does have better ring generalship than triple g right the one dimensional triple g i think we can all agree that canelo has a better uh better footwork just better ring generalship all around than 
just triple G, right? That comes forward. I feel like he has a really um, great left hook. I think Canelo's left hook is pretty solid. He has a solid chin as well, right? He was hurt back with um, Cotto's brother, which, you know, he was 19 years old. I see that brought up on Twitter all the time. Like, oh, he got hurt by Cotto's brother. Motherfucker was 19. Like, that's 10 years ago. It's fine. And he didn't go down. He ended up getting the knockout win, right? So whatever. But he does have a solid chin. You know, Bivol was landing some bombs on his ass, and he didn't go down. So good for him. <laughs> and I believe that he does have the better opposition, um, you know, than Triple G, right? Canelo has had the better. He has a really decent resume. I think he has a really good resume, to my opinion. And I feel like that does play a factor in how the fight will go because, these fighters, you know, these these names get him prepared in this activity, got him prepared to maybe face Triple G again. I will go on a little tangent on that next, on the next section, but I digress. Triple G, right, his granite chin, my God. We all know that fucking punch that Cadello landed that literally Triple G didn't even, even face him. Obviously, his KO power, Triple G has tremendous knockout power. We know that he, believe he had like a 28 uh, fight knockout record, if I'm not mistaken, before he fought Jacobs. And honestly, like, he didn't hurt Canelo in the first two, but maybe third time's a charm. You never know, right? And I do think that his re he's relentless, right? He applies a lot of pressure. He's a pressure fighter. I feel like that's also a strength, right? Because, you know, once he's attacking you and once he smells blood, his opponents don't have any donde meterse, right? Now let's go to the keys to victory, right? So for Canelo, I believe he really has to stay off the ropes. In both the first and the second fight, especially the first, I felt like he spent too much time trying to lure Triple G against the ropes, with his back against the ropes, right? To try to set up that uppercut or that hook. But he wasted way too much time on it, leaving himself open to get tagged by Triple G, who's a stronger guy, right? So you definitely don't want to be against the ropes with a guy like Triple G coming at you, I feel like. Another one, another big one, I feel like, and I think Canelo has some of the best in boxing right now, is his feints. He has to trick Triple G, right, the older Triple G, into a punch, right? He has to beat him to the punch, but I feel like he needs to feint. He's been, he has some highlight knockout reels, Canelo, with his feints, and I feel like he has to do that with Triple G, right? Like, he has to do that. He has to come over here and feint and trick him to feel like he's going to the body or going to the head or vice versa, right? And, of course, go to the body. I feel like Canelo has to go to the body because, like, you know, we all say in Mexico, right? Ataca, la, ataca el cuerpo y la cabeza cae sola. You attack the head. I mean, you attack the body and the head will follow, right? So I feel like you have to hit. Yeah, I feel like if, if Canelo wants to at least try to get Triple G folded like a chair, he has a higher chance of doing that by going to the body as opposed to trying to headhunt. And we saw this because Triple G didn't really like Derivachenko's body shots, and then even with Murata, even though he was, you know, he beat him, he, he knocked him out, he did seem a little gassed, and every time Murata would lance it into the body, you can see that Triple G was visibly uncomfortable. I do feel like the timing is important. Triple G is older, and he's never really been the fastest guy, so I do hope that Canelo from the last two fights learned to try to time Triple G, especially because Triple G isn't one to, like, switch his game plan. Triple G is just Triple G, and he's going to fight like Triple G. So I feel like hopefully with these two times fighting and maybe the loss to Bibol is going to try to get Canelo to better time uh, Triple G. And lastly, he has to pace himself. Canelo has to pace himself. Since the beginning of the career, we saw that he would fight in spurs, right? And he would take breaks. He would take rounds off. And that loses you rounds. And you don't want to lose rounds against Triple G, right? Especially now with the controversy that you've been gifted rounds and you've been gifted fights. You do not want to keep that reputation going right so he needs to pace himself and try to land better punches and be more accurate instead of trying to land more punches or throw more punches without them being necessarily the most accurate Chris punches right we saw against Bibol and to be honest I think Bibol beat Canelo's ass I actually picked Bibol to beat Canelo and I got a lot of hate for it but he did it right but I do feel like the weight was a big issue, and I do feel like he was tired, that it was more on his body. He was tired. He was gassed, right? And I feel like maybe Triple G can have that advantage because not only is he at a more comfortable weight at 168, but Canelo going up and down and up and down may have fucked with Canelo's just stamina, right? And then when you go from fighting guys like 
the ones people like to call Euro bums, right? Guys like Smith, who didn't really pursue Canelo. Guys like Yildirim, who didn't do shit. Guys like, uh, I guess BJ Saunders did okay, but Canelo was still the aggressor there. Canelo wasn't used to guys coming at him, so he wasn't as tired as tired with them, right? Because he was the one pacing himself. He was the one in control of the fight. Instead of the last fight with Bibol, where Bibol was coming at him, right? So he had to, like, spend more energy trying to evade those punches. And that might be Triple G's, you know, one of his advantages now. That Canelo got so used to just cruising through these dudes who were not necessarily going after him. And is now has to go with someone like Triple G, who's relentless, right? And speaking of, let's move on to Triple G's keys, keys to victory, right? I think Triple G, like I mentioned, is going to fight at Triple G, so his keys to victory is that, to be Triple G with minor adjustments, right? He just got to keep the pressure on Canelo. You got to get that, get him tired. Got to stay on his ass, right? And there is, like, a side note to that because Canelo is a natural counterpuncher. Anything that Triple G throws at him, he has a uh, disadvantage of getting something back, right, with Canelo's, you know, crisp counter punching but it just he has a granite chin so what the hell does he gotta worry about right as long as Canelo's not going to the body and speaking of going to the body god damn it triple g go to the body in the first fight triple g only landed eight body shots across 12 rounds and he was heavily criticized for it right and in the second one instead of maybe throwing more to the body what does this man do he throws two less six body punches throughout 12 rounds and it's like my dude, go to the body. If you want to slow down Canelo, a younger Canelo, a faster Canelo, a countering Canelo, go to the body. Like, hit him to the body to slow him down, right? And have a plan B. Have a plan B. Because in the second fight, you know, they able said you Canelo's not a Mexican style. He's not going to fight Mexican style. He's just going to run. And what did Canelo do? He stood to the toe with Triple G. And they had no answers. So, <laughs> Triple G has to have a plan B. If Canelo is going to fight like a Mexican this time again, he needs to try to form a plan to capitalize on that, right? Capitalize on Canelo being right there in front of him, right? And get Canelo against the ropes. You know, just like in the first two fights, he had Canelo against the ropes. And like we mentioned, it's not like, oh, yeah, cool. I have this guy against the ropes. Cool. Canelo's a counter puncher. So he's right there to trap you, right? So he needs to get Canelo against the ropes, but not get trapped. Get Canelo against the ropes and land some decent punches and steal the rounds that way if he's not going to get be able to get the knockout. And lastly... Or Triple G, his key to victory is to make sure that Adelaide Bird is nowhere in sight. That he's, she's not in attendance. That Adelaide Bird is not judging. That's the way that Triple G is going to be able to have a key to victory if he's not going to get the knockout. Let's look at the last fights for a little bit, right? Bebo, we know, uh, beat Canelo. Canelo might have either a deflated ego where he's like, God damn, fuck, I lost shit. I, might, I don't want to lose to another, you know, like European guy. Right, or he can have like, nah, fuck this, I lost, but I'm gonna fucking be fighting 10 times harder, and Triple G is, you know, uh, older already, so I'm gonna get this guy out of there, and he said it, right, in his many fucking interviews where everybody asked him the same fucking thing, that it was a personal, he said yes, like a million times, I feel bad for Canelo for getting asked that shit like a hundred million times, anyways, um, I do feel like, what was I saying, I do feel like it is personal, I do feel like Canelo really wants to knock out really badly here, right, so, while that's, like, great and dandy, like I mentioned, it might put him in a position where Triple G can take advantage of that emotional, you know, just drive that goes on there. And for Triple G, yeah, he got his victory against Murata and Unified. Everything's fine and dandy. But also, Murata wasn't, like, the best middleweight. And also, Triple G looked gassed as fuck in those few rounds that he had fought. And he had looked gas before in his fights too so i feel like this fight it is a combination of this rivalry where both of the guys are like not necessarily at their best like canelo was in this super high after beating um plant and becoming undisputed but he his like his like i guess how do you call it his not his worth but like his hype went so low after losing to b-ball right and with triple g is like triple g was loved by every boxing fan it was hard to dislike him and now people really you know i guess his career hasn't aged well for a lot of people and a lot of people really don't like triple g and he's older now so i feel like neither guy is like at top 100 but i do feel like we're still gonna get a good fight 
And with that being said, I will give my prediction. My prediction. So I do predict that this is going to be a really good fight. I feel like people... You know, regardless of Canelo losing, they feel like, oh, Triple G's old. Triple G has been vulnerable to the body in his last fights. This shit, oh, Canelo's going to knock him out. Canelo's going to knock him out this third time around. Canelo's going to knock him out. He's going to knock him out. I don't know why you guys think that. I really don't because Triple G has a granite chin one. And yes, he's been very vulnerable to the body. Um, And, you know, Canelo can be the guy to put him down. But I don't think he will get the knockout because Triple G is not the guy that's gonna get knocked out in my opinion right like i feel like triple g while he is older uh for boxing right um he doesn't he's still not the guy that's gonna get knocked out into oblivion in his last fight you know what i mean like that i just don't see that happening um and even if he does you know no i'll go with that at the end so i but i do feel like uh, canelo having him fought you know Two times already. I do feel like he's going to adapt. Having felt punches from 175ers, I feel like that also helped him with his uh, enduring the punches from Triple G. And I think overall, just his activity, uh, you know, having uh, an active career twice as much as Triple G within the, since the last time that they worked together in the ring, I feel like that's also going to help, right? He, a lot of people say the wear and tear on Canelo is gonna is gonna start showing, but I feel like against a guy like Triple G who's already on the older side, it's not gonna be showing just yet. So I do have Canelo winning a more comfortable, um, a more comfortable unanimous decision. I, I think it's gonna be unanimous. I don't think it's gonna be a draw. I don't think it's gonna be a majority. I do feel like Canelo's gonna convincingly beat Triple G this time, but I don't see him knocking Triple G out. And if he does, it would be by executing the plan to going to the body and folding him like a chair from like a shot to the liver right i would love that for me around the 11th round right like so i think it's gonna be a unanimous decision for, for the cinnamon but i would not be surprised if it's a late round tko with a body shot right but while i'm excited for this fight you know i, I love triple g i love canelo y'all know this um i love triple g more <laughs> um while I love this fight, I'm excited for it, especially now during fight week. I do feel like even if Canelo were to win impressively, even if Canelo were to get a really great knockout victory out of this, I don't think it would mean anything as much as it would have meant maybe three years ago, right? Because everybody is, you know, the narrative is now that Triple G's old and he hasn't looked great. Triple G's performances haven't been the most... Um, dominant right even though he has beat all of his opponents right since trip since fighting uh canelo but he's won but he hasn't been the most dominant he hasn't been the monster that we always saw him as before the canelo fights right yes like i mentioned he did knock out morata but he looked tired and gas before that right he so it's just i feel like this really doesn't do anything for canelo other than like okay like oh cool, you close out rivalry and i feel like he does want to because like i'm pretty sure he's tired of everybody telling him that he lost the first fight though i don't think that's gonna go away by him beating triple g a more convincing time but I digress. Let me know what you think in the comments, what your prediction is. Are you going to bet? Are you going to go to Vegas? Are you going to watch it in your home? Are you going to have a pay-per-view party? Even though the zone said pay-per-view was dead when it first launched, but I guess they were just kidding, right? So let me know if you're going to stream it. Let me know if you're going to buy pay-per-view. Are you going to do a, a raffle for the rounds? Do you have Triple G? Do you have Canelo? My heart. You know, how crazy would it be if Triple G just knocked Canelo out and Canelo's like, career after being in his beta just like plummeted that would be tragic for canelo but it'd be entertaining for the boxing world i'm here for the fucking drama i'm here for for the upsets i'm here for the divisions being turned up the fuck side down so for the drama and for like just what would come with that i would love that but also i just feel like canelo i guess deserves to like feel like a winner convincingly against triple g who in my opinion beat him in the first fight so again let me know what you think and subscribe and i know i'm not like being the most active person but i am trying and i appreciate you guys being subscribers and yeah stay tuned for more to come i'll see you guys on the next one peace